to Texas. How was the press conference? It was quick. Breaking? It was in and out. We got in there and uh, somebody brought me my, my water burger, which is good. Tell me about that. You get off the plane, you're, you're waiting for your bag, and what happens? Right up, right up, right as we're getting uh, get going down from the uh, from the escalator to, to the baggage camp, there's somebody there and with a uh, with a uh, with water burger bag. I'm like, oh fuck, somebody did show up. So I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm eating my water burger at midnight. And then the, the following day, uh, we had the press conference, and you know everything went good. Uh, Juanma was very respectful. It was a great, great, uh, great. Mark press Cuban was there. Yeah, I, we didn't even know who he was uh, <laughs> until they had, he sat near your dad. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know until they introduced him. There, I'm like, holy shit, this is that that this is this guy. And then uh, George Foreman was there. George Foreman, yeah. Does he know you, George Foreman? Yeah, oh yeah, George Foreman. You know, he's always been really cool. So there's a lot of media, there's a lot of fans too that show up to the to the press conference. So it was fun. And then uh, from there we were on our way to the airport again. So we had to make a quick stop to Waterburger again. And Christina, and Christina got her verse. The, yeah, we were on the same on the same uh, uh, flight. So she drove with us to the airport, and uh, that was the first time for her. What would you say about a fan watching an ES News video rushing to the airport? at midnight because I only uploaded it like 8, That's 9 o'clock. That's awesome, man. Rene was awesome, man. Rene showed up. His name is Rene. Cool he dude. Showed, he had, he had the, and he had exactly what I asked for. Uh, water burger with cheese, bacon and cheese. No, no pickles, no mustard, and no tomatoes. How about sandwiches like, for your dad and, and Mikey? We, they, he had those too. <laughs> yeah, he had everything. All, everything lined up. It was well, cool. And, and awesome. You didn't get pulled over over there, obviously. No, 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 no. Did no. people ask you about that video of getting pulled over? Did the fans ask no, you? No, no, nobody asked that. They didn't time. see no, it no, no, I guess they didn't see it. But it, it was fun, man. It was fun. There was a lot of fans, and of course, the pest was there. The pest showed up. Oh, I saw him. So. Yeah, he loves it. He's just loud. He's cool. So, what do you think now about Juan Mamaiki? The fight's official? Oh, it's awesome. You know, the fight's official. Juan is a great fighter. You know, he had those two losses, but hey, styles make fights. That don't mean because Mikey beats a little, don't make it's going to be such an easy fight for, for Mike. Mike's very smart, and Mike maybe makes it a fight, an easy fight and makes it look like it's easy, but but Juan is very dangerous, and uh, and we got to we got to train for a very dangerous fight. And what would you say about Pacquiao Rios? It's going to be a great fight. You know, I know that. Uh, uh, people are gonna get excited about it. You know, we still got over six months before the fight, but uh, everybody's already talking about it. So it's gonna be it's gonna be huge. I think uh, you know Brandon himself is, is ready to do it. He's, he's been he's been uh, he's been waiting for this moment, and, and he's ready to do it, man. He's, he's gonna go out there and, and do everything possible to pull it up. And I know I know we can. Uh, you know, Brandon's style is perfect, especially now that Pacquiao got knocked out so bad. Who knows how Pacquiao is going to come back, you know. So it's a very dangerous start for Pacquiao too. Not easy for us either, but that's what we're going to train like never before. The reporters, what's the most common question you got in Texas? Were they asking about Mikey? Or were they asking no, about there, Brandon? There it was about Mikey. Mostly Mikey. But there was also those that asked uh, Brandon. But it was, with Brandon it was just quick because uh, cause it, was, it, was, it, was, it was all Mikey, you know. Mikey and Salido. So there, there was a few that asked, but we just made it quick. It was, you know, just... What a good trip. Think. One day trip. Yeah, it was one day trip and it was, it was awesome. Any message to your fans, Robert, if they're watching? Yeah, just, you know, hopefully they keep supporting our team and, uh, you know, show up in Dallas because uh, I think it's gonna go, they're going to have a good turnout because Texas is very, very good for, for uh, following boxing. So hopefully the people show up. It's going to be a great fight, great card, great undercard. So uh, hopefully we see a lot of people there uh, that day of the fight. There you have it, Robert Garcia right here. This is Jimmy Knox, our and my Report.